The outfit that I have on now, it's very, very timeless. In fact, you might say it looks a little bit like Steve Jobs. So I have my black turtleneck, I have blue straight leg jeans, and then white sneakers. But what's the easiest way to go from looking classic to looking cool? That would be a leather jacket. I got this um, leather jacket recently and I'm really, really happy with it. So yeah, I really like it. I think it fits great. It's good quality. And if you're looking to invest in a leather jacket yourself, then you might be wondering a few things. Like for example, which brand do I get? How much money should I be spending? Which features do I want to look for, etc. So if you're in the market for a new leather jacket, then keep watching. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Camelia Brook, and I create videos about shopping for timeless fashion, and I also love to shop secondhand fashion a lot. So please consider subscribing, and let's get into it. A while ago, I bought a $100 faux leather jacket from Topshop, and this is something that I actually got a lot of wear out of. I wore it for about five years, all the time. So that was a really good buy for me when you think about cost per wear. Eventually it did start to peel on the sleeves and it came time for me to replace it. And I was really ready to invest in a real leather jacket because I think that if you buy a good one, it can last you for a very long time. So if you invest, then you can get features like hardware that's not gonna tarnish, leather that's gonna look better as it ages, a lining that's gonna keep you comfortable, and a fit that flatters you. I also think that because it's such a timeless staple piece, it's something that you can feel comfortable investing a lot in. The price is not always a reliable indicator of quality. So let's compare a few different leather jackets. I've got this one here, and this one is by Balenciaga. I've got this one, and this one is from a brand called Hotel Particulier. The Balenciaga jackets that I've looked at online lately have been around $4,000 to $5,000. The jacket that I got in stores would be around $500. And I have to say, the leather on both jackets does feel similar. I think that they're both made of lamb's leather. But the Balenciaga jacket, it does feel more buttery and more soft. Also, another feature that you get with the Balenciaga jacket that you don't get with the, with the Hotel Particulier jacket is that it doesn't make noise when you walk. The lining of the Balenciaga jacket is made with rayon, whereas the lining of the Hotel Particulier jacket is made of cotton. Um, and I think that they both look really beautiful on. So this jacket is not really my size, I borrowed it. It's still really cool. This Hotel Particulier jacket is also really, really beautiful. Um, it feels really comfortable. This one is more my size. This one by Coach is more of a minimalist style, but the leather is so beautiful and so soft. And I can tell that the hardware is very good quality. Um, they're made with, or the zippers are Riri zippers, and they're known for being top notch. So if you're looking to invest in a leather jacket, you might want to check Coach out because if the other jackets are anything like this, then the quality is going to be really nice. Um, when I was shopping, initially I was looking at All Saints jackets. A few of the best things about the All Saints jacket are one, that the leather is very, very smooth and very, very soft. Two, um, some of their jackets, because they're made of lamb's leather, they're more fitted and they fit really beautifully. On the downside, they are more prone to scratching, and then also the belt buckle with their classic Belfern jacket was a bit too noisy. Acne leather jackets are another really popular choice. These jackets are a lot more heavy and a lot more durable, I think, than the All Saints jackets. They're a bit more boxy, and I also think that they're the type of jacket that's gonna keep you more warm. So if you're looking for something that's gonna be functional and durable, the acne, an acne leather jacket could be great for you. If you're looking for something that's a bit more delicate and fitted, then you might wanna go with an All Saints jacket instead. Some other leather jackets that I've heard really good things about are by Shot and then also by Bellstaff. <laughs> So if you're curious about any of these brands, I'm gonna leave links to them down below. You have a lot of different options when it comes to which finishes you want on your jacket. Um, for me, initially I was looking at jackets that were both more plain and then ones with quilting on the sleeves. I decided to go with no quilting just because I think that you can pair it with more things. I was also looking at different types of hardware. I thought the black hardware could be a good choice because it easily matches with like silver jewelry, gold jewelry, but in the end, I decided to go with silver. Just because I think that if you're wearing a dark outfit, if you pair a leather jacket over top and it has a bit of color in the hardware, then it's gonna break everything up a little bit and make it look better. And for me, I have a lot more silver hardware already in my wardrobe than gold hardware. 
if you have more gold hardware that, and you don't want to mix your metals, then gold could be a better choice for you. And something that's, something that's more fitted or something that's a bit more oversized might be the right fit for you, depending on what you're looking for. Like for me, I wanted to wear a leather jacket over top of sweaters. So I was looking for something that had a bit of room. With lamb's leather, keep in mind that it will stretch. So you could potentially go with something a little bit more fitted in that fabric and then watch it stretch as you wear it. I decided to go with a black leather jacket because I have a lot of other black pieces in my wardrobe so it would be easier to match with things. For example, I have a black bag that I carry a lot. I have black shoes. For you, something like brown or something like navy blue might even be better. If you're looking for a spring jacket, a cream leather jacket could be a really nice choice. This one is really, really beautiful, but I have to say it's not as durable as the others just because it's really difficult to clean. And when you're picking up your leather jacket, also make sure to get a leather spray and a leather conditioner. You want to make sure that your leather jacket doesn't get dry or crack and that it doesn't get ruined in the rain. In addition to a great leather jacket, a must-have in your closet is a great pair of jeans. So I'm going to leave a link to a video down below where I try on and review different pairs of Levi's. And if there are any questions that I didn't go over about leather jackets, please feel free to leave a comment and I look forward to seeing you next time.